Let's talk about volcanoes. Artists love volcanoes. This is a print made by Andy Warhol. What do you see? What colors did he use? What lines did he use? Do you see energy in the lines? Do you see lines that are calm and still or wild and crazy? Art made by artists not only shows us what volcanoes look like, they kind of tell us the experience of being there. Is it a little bit scary, dark, and foreboding? Was it shocking to see the fiery lava explosion? What was happening around the volcano at the time? These details make volcanoes very exciting in art. So right now, the Portland Art Museum is going to have a volcano exhibition. That means that they have gathered art about volcanoes and especially ones about Mount St. Helens, which is really close to us here in Portland. Here's a photograph of Mount St. Helens that exploded 40 years ago. This is actually an artist print. They were amazed by the shapes in the smoke and made this print to show us those details. These are some photographs from that day. We can see Mount St. Helens as a cone, a regular calm, still mountain. And then the moment that it erupts, it just exploded a chunk of itself up into the sky. All of that smoke and debris was very dangerous and surprising. This artist was inspired by that moment. Look at picture number one on the left, and picture number two, and then picture number three. The colors and textures and lines and shapes show us that energy. So we're gonna look at creating our own volcano. And so we are looking at first making a mountain and your mountain will be whatever you want it to look like, but I want you to try and use the texture of volcanic mountain. This is called basalt, and look at the color. To make our mountain paper today that we'll use later on in a collage, you can use crayons and those texture plates behind your paper to add texture. Don't worry too much about what colors you want. Think about how light makes things look very colorful, even if it's just gray. Choose the textures you want and add a mix of textures to your paper. I've been changing out my plates and I chose fine textures, delicate textures, and coarse, big textures. I have my crayon on the side and I am using it to fill in all of the white spaces. I don't do too much of one texture. I keep on changing it up. A big variety. Hey, there's some crocodile skin that would make some good mountain texture. And last, I thought maybe my mountain has some actual red sparks that are nearby. So I'm even using some red and brown. Green, in case there's some plants growing on the side of the mountain. So now comes the step of using a wash of brown and or blue with a brush. I'm on a messy mat and now I'm using my brush to add some color on top of my texture. You can use brown or black or both. I want you to slowly and carefully fill in the whole paper. This video is sped up. Paint all the way to the ends because we want you to have awesome mountain paper for tomorrow.